Hi guys, welcome again to my channel. Today I have a Harry Potter unboxing for you guys because I have this massive and heavy Quidditch box to unbox. Uh, but before we uh, jump on our brooms to catch the snitch, if you're new to my channel, hi, welcome to Quill Scene. My name is Megan. If you like things that have to do with Harry Potter, Disney, Star Wars, Marvel, anything geeky really. Writing, reading, books, um, witchcraft, magic, all that sort of stuff, you're in the right place. Make sure to click on that magical subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell because on that way you'll always get a notification whenever I upload a new video. But uh, yeah, I think it's time to get in our uniforms because Quidditch is about to start. So again, this is an old Magical Suitcase box, um, as you guys will know by now. Uh, Magical Suitcase uh, used to be a company based in Poland that did both um, Polish as well as English versions of fandom boxes. Uh, Harry Potter was one of their bigger fandoms, but they also did like uh, Marvel, Star Wars, uh, a lot of Disney too. Um, but Thanks to COVID, um, the two women behind Magical Suitcase, being Paulina and Daria, decided to split up their business because it became too difficult since there is quite a distance between them um, from where they live. Um, and uh, Paulina decided to uh, continue Magical Suitcase, but then only the Polish boxes, while Daria started up a new um, yeah, subscription box uh, being Magic Witch House, where she basically continues with uh, the fandom boxes with only items. Paulina, uh, she focuses more on books, which are again fandom boxes with items, but also a book um, related to it. Um, for the moment, um, Daria from Magic Witch House um, doesn't do English boxes, boxes yet, but she's looking into it. Uh, Paulina decided to not do um, English boxes anymore because of Brexit, uh, since um, the English goodies uh, for the English boxes are really hard to get. Deliveries run late, plus now also the prices has, have gone up. So uh, she decided to focus only on Polish boxes, though um, for me, she's so kind enough to uh, make an English box from time to time. So uh, thank you, Paulina. I really appreciate it. Um, but as I said, this one is from the old Magical Suitcase one. Uh, Paulina and Daria were still working together. Um, and this one is themed around Quidditch. And as you guys saw, it's a big box. So I have no clue what it's filled with. So um, let's quickly go for a sneak peek. So we have our huge box with our label. And when we open it, we see a bit of yellow tissue paper and lots of goodies hiding. And this box is filled. Where do we start? Let's go for the paper item that's on top. It's just a normal um, piece of paper, but it is so much fun because it is a batting slip. And uh, this batting slip we see in the movies, um, it is basically made by Fred and George. And um, yeah, it is like who will win uh, against the match from Ireland against Bulgaria. And then who will catch the snitch, Lynch or Crumb, um, Ireland under over, uh, 165 points, same for Bulgaria. And then there is a special bet, uh, Ireland to win, uh, Crumb will catch the snitch and over 300 points in a match. So yeah, this is so typical Fred and George, um, the twins are next to Sirius Black, actually one of my favorite characters in the entire series. So uh, yeah, this one is really fun because it combines Quidditch, it combines Fred and George. And also the moment that they take Harry to the Quidditch World Cup. So yeah, really, really cool. Even if it's just, you know, a paper slip, but still really, really fun. Then let's go for the baggie. We have a baggie with something soft in it. So I guess this is the t-shirt because um, 
at least old magical suitcase i don't know if it's the same for uh the new magical suitcase um uh, magic witch house but they used to include uh usually a wearable in each box um usually it's a t-shirt um sometimes with a sweater or a hoodie even yes but this is another t-shirt put the baggie aside it's a white t-shirt with <laughs> the print of the world cup so it's the quiddish world cup we see of course the big golden snitch although now it's a red snitch and then we see uh, the two teams uh, inside the hoops flying on a broom and then the number 422 uh, because it was i think the 40 422nd um quidditch world cup that was held so uh yeah we have a quidditch um t-shirt this would look great with my um gryffindor scarf because i got a gryffindor scarf uh, not too long ago because uh now i can go you know uh cheer for my house whenever there is a uh, quidditch match so yeah really really cool fun item fun print also so that's the t-shirt um then of course the one thing that can't miss in this one and my brother will be very happy about it is a golden snitch um well a um, chocolate golden snitch um so yeah this is basically the um, packaging got a bit banged up at sight but that doesn't matter um so basically it's like the little ball made of chocolate it's solid so um whenever you bite in it you have to bite really hard um personally personally i like to heat up a, a bit of milk and then just drop this thing in it so that it melts and then you have like quidditch quidditch golden snitch chocolate cocoa so uh yeah that's my tactic uh what's also fun is that in every one of these comes like this little piece of paper um with information about quidditch quidditch uh, and the rules and such um you you would think like one is fun to you know display on your shelves but uh, i keep them all uh because i am planning to use it um basically as a backdrop so the backdrop of um my shelf that i will use to um display my quidditch stuff will then be coated with uh, those papers and then you have like you know your own quidditch wallpaperish backdrop so yeah i thought to do that with that um but yeah i'm really really <laughs> yeah really 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 sure my brother will love this because every time i open a box it's like were there treats in it were there was there candy was there chocolate and then i have to say no now i can say yes okay we have lots of other things let's go for this so we have our chocolate so now we also have something to drink with it and that's the tea um they always include tea normally in their boxes usually uh, hand picked by them so uh this is called the quidditch game and it should be a green tea with orange blossom and sea buckthorn i think it's called uh, so yeah, we have uh, on the back of the label, we have like all the house crafts from the Hogwarts houses. You also have um, how you have to brew it. And then this is how the tea looks. Uh, again, I'm not going to open it because as you guys may know by now, I'm not a tea drinker. So I always give out uh, these I receive, usually to my cousins. So uh, yeah, there we have that. Uh, let's go for this one. Uh oh. Ooh, it smells nice. It smells earthy. So, uh. <laughs> okay, so we have this brown paper baggie with like this very, yeah, metallic like label. But it's you can't see it on the camera, I think. But it's called uh, a quaffle. And I have a feeling this is going to be a bad bomb. So I'm going to open it very carefully. And then maybe I think I have somewhere like a plastic little pot that I can use to 
drop it in to show it off if needed. So let's get the string around everything. And there we go. One more knot to go. Come on. So that was the string. Yeah, it is a big, big bad bomb, uh, which is a quaffle. It smells very earthy. It's kind of a strange smell, actually. But yeah, it's a quaffle. So yeah, really fun. Uh, I like bad bombs. Um, I like to use them when I have a relaxing bath. So uh, this one will be used for sure. I'm going to drop it again in a the little bag. There we go. So that it doesn't, you know, uh, drop on the ground or, yeah, starts beating people. <laughs> uh, we also have a little box. And I think this will one will be um, the candle. Yes, it's one of their big candles. And it's called the Golden uh, Snitch. And we have on the side, of course, the Golden Snitch represented uh, with eye open at the close. Um, candles uh, by as well the old Magical Suitcase as the new Magical Suitcase as I'm pretty sure even Magic Witch House are handmade. Um, they also come with a wooden wick so that crackles. So uh, this one should smell like uh, cedar amber and geranium and when we open ooh, look how pretty we have golden yeah big glitter specks and of course the wooden wick oh it smells nice yeah you definitely smell the cedar and then the hint of geranium so it's basically like it smells like the, the like how i would imagine the um Quidditch pitch would smell like because you're surrounded by trees and the grass and mm, flowers. Delicious. Um, as I said, this one is one of their bigger candles. Usually the their candles are a little bit smaller. Uh, but yeah, this one is one of the bigger ones. I don't know what this one is. One, 180 milliliters. So usually it is like, I think, 90? Or eight, yeah. Usually the candles are smaller. This one is one of the bigger ones. But yeah, I always love a good candle. We're not there yet. There are still things to go. We have uh, this box, and when we open it, we have ooh, we have Wormies. And inside the Wormies, we have a beautiful bottle of Felix Felicis. Uh, now, normally, canning, if you speak canonly, um, Felix Felicius isn't supposed to come in big bottles like this, but uh, I don't mind <laughs> because the bottle is gorgeous. Look how beautiful the label is. We have also wax dripping, and I'm pretty sure if you shake it up, no, it's not a swirling potion. But still, it's really cool. You have like this very gold liquid. So um, there are a bit of sparkles in it. Um, so yeah, a nice addition to my potion cabinet. Yes, I have upgraded from a shelf to a cabinet because way too many potions. And it doesn't help that I make them myself too. So um, because this is um, their version of Felix Felicis. I think, do I still have mine? Where are you? I'm sitting next to my um, potions that I made. So now I have to take a quick look. Where did I put mine? Yeah, there. So this is their version of Felix Felicis and this is mine, <laughs> my version of Felix Felicis. And mine is a swirling potion. So if you shake it really hard, you can get like this effect. But yeah, this is their one. So uh, yeah, really cool. And it's fun that I have now a big bottle and then my own little bottle to put uh, next to it. So yeah, really fun. I'm going to put you here so that you don't fall. 
Ooh, we have another paper item. And I love this. I love this really, really much because it is a ticket to the World Cup of Ireland against Bulgaria for the 18th of August. So uh, yeah, I hope we can travel them again with COVID because I wouldn't want to miss this one. Oh, this one is so cool and it will look really cool on uh, my Quidditch shelf. Love the design, love also the fact that it has like, you know, the dotted line where they can, you know, rip your ticket um, when you go into the stadium. Uh, so yeah, really, really cool paper um, replica. And we're still not done because we have this one. I'm going to take it out of the plastic before I show you because this one is quite cool. Um, quick quiz question. Uh, who can recall Ronald Weasley's favorite Quidditch team? Anyone? No? Yes? Ron's favorite team were, well, are, still are, the Chutley Cannons. And this is uh, a little, yeah, art print actually on canvas um, of their logo. So we have uh, the Chutley Cannons, we have the cross brooms, we have, of course, the cannons itself that are shooting out, I think, quaffles that it are. And then underneath we have the British Quidditch League. Ninth, and it was found in 1650. Really cool, love like the circus like um, rats and yellow stripes. I love that they did it on canvas, really original item. Um, so yeah, really, really cool. And again, gorgeous as a backdrop on your shelves. Uh, so yeah, love it. Can put you right here. We're still not on because we also have a big puzzle. Um, and it is called the Harry Potter Swiss licensed one Quidditch puzzle. It has a thousand pieces and this is how it should look when it's done. Really cool. So we can see like Harry um, in the middle flying uh, on his broom and we'll also see Ginny and Ron. Um, it says top score Gryffindor. We see also the Noble Collection replica of um, the um, Quidditch uh, trunk with all the balls in it and of course then Team Quidditch and we also have the Golden Snitch and stuff so yeah really cool and um, that's something I forgot to tell uh, the old Magical Suitcase and I think also the that they that both Polina and Daria are still doing so um, they like to mix up the handmade items with licensed items. So uh, again, this one is a licensed item. Really, really cool. Uh, I have a few puzzles now um, and I like puzzling when my cousins come around or uh, when I have to relax or something. So yeah, really fun item. And then the last item. <laughs> okay, this one is really fun. The last item is also licensed and I think it's probably also the reason one of the reasons because the puzzle box is also quite big. Um, so yeah, it's I guess one of the reasons why uh, this box was so big. Because it is like this gym, well, gym bag, traveling bag even. And I have... one of the Chudley cannons. So um, yeah, as I said, it is a gym slash traveling bag. Um, it's a decent size, as you guys can see, this is the bottom of it. Um, on one side, we have like the little Chudley cannon design with a zipper. So you have a little pouch to put, um, like if, if you use it as a travel bag, your ticket or something. So things that you have to, uh, reach quickly. The handles are uh, held together like with uh, some velcro and then on the inside we have um, a double zipper 
So when you open it, the inside of it is dark orange. We also have an, um, how do you call it? An, uh, yeah, extendable thing. Uh, so you can make it a shoulder bag. Uh, it has this piece, which you have to put in the bottom. So that it's actually, that it's sturdy and it stands like that. And then, of course, on the other side, we have the big jelly cannon pins. So, yeah, really, really cool. Um, I am hoping that I can use this one um, for when I travel when COVID is over. Because um, together with my best friends, we had been looking into like going a few days to Disneyland Paris because uh, now everyone of us works. So we can all afford it. Uh, so we had to wait until that happens. <laughs> and then when we were at that point that everyone was working and had enough budgets to, you know, go and have fun and uh, just, you know, go without a worry about the financial side, basically, COVID happened. So uh, yeah, I'm hoping to do uh, that soon. Um, well, in the next year or so with my friends. And then further along the road, I hope uh, that I can visit London again because it has been since when I was, I think, 17 years old. So about 11 years ago that I last visited London and it was with school um, because I would, I really would love to um, visit my uh, friends from the Witchcraft and Wizardry Boutique there. But I would also love to go to um, the Harry Potter Studio Tour along with, uh, now they had, I think, in Covent Garden, the um, cinematic photograph experience or something that's called. So uh, yeah, I would love to travel there. And then a bag like this sure comes in handy. So um, yeah, that was everything in this box. Uh, again, there is no, um, there is no um, spoiler card, so we just have uh, to go with it and hope that everything was uh, in the box that was supposed to be in the box. Um, but now I have to pick my three favorites. Hmm, this is going to be hard. Okay, first of all, I'm going to put an honorable mention for the fun and beautiful uh, ticket replica because it's on a sturdy paper. The back has like also this fun design and it's just, you know, you have like the rounds pounced out and everything. So yeah, that's my honorable mention. On the third place, I'm going to put my um, Chudley Cannon bag. Uh, I really love it uh, and if I was planning to travel soon uh, I probably would have put it even higher but for now it just is going to go in the closet until I can travel so that's why I put it on three. Um, I'm going to put the Chudley Cannon um, canvas on the, sec on the second place because this one I can display right away um, and I find it really really um, original that they put like you know not just an art print on a piece of paper but like an actual canvas with uh, the Chudley cannons and one I'm going to um, put my Felix Felicis um, because just I'm a sucker for potions uh, and yes the execution may could have been a bit better like they could have made it a swirling potion and it's a big bottle instead of a small bottle, but I like it. And um, if I put it next to mine, my own version, it will look cute. So yeah, I have a lot of Felix Felicis in my um, in my potion cabinet. So maybe I should, you know, take a sip once in a while. Nah, <laughs> I'm lucky enough as it is. So uh, yeah, that's my number one. Uh, yeah, that's everything uh, that I can say about this box. Please let me know down in the comments what you your thoughts were. What's your favorite item? What's your least favorite item? Was there something you missed? 
um, what did you thought about uh, the originality of the items in this box? Please let me know down below in the comments. Also down below, but then in the description box will be a link to uh, my previous Magical Suitcase unboxing. Uh, I can't link uh, to the website anymore because, as I said, the English versions are cancelled and so is the English website. Uh, so sadly, no website. Um, but uh, there will be also links uh, to my Instagram and my blog because, as usual, there will be lots of pictures on my Instagram concerning all of these items. And then eventually on my blog will be a blog post, uh, both in Dutch and English, concerning this unboxing, um, written out with pictures. Um, so yeah, that's all I can say about this box. Uh, then um, I guess it's time to thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a little thumbs up because I'll see more than you know. And hopefully I'll see you guys soon for another bookish magical video. Bye!